Hello and welcome to AmainHobbies.com. I'm Greg McGrath, and today on RC Talk, we're going to cover the differences of Flybar and Flybarless Blades. With so many great blades on the market today, choosing the right main blade for your application can be a little confusing. So today we'd like to break it down for you in hopes it might help you with choosing the right main blade for your application. With a fly bar blade, the weight will usually be set more towards the center portion of the blade, and the overall weight of the blade will usually be less than a fly barless blade. Now one of the most common questions I get about blades is, can I use a fly barless blade on a fly bar helicopter? Well the answer is yes, you absolutely can. By putting a fly barless main blade on a fly barred helicopter will greatly improve the stability of the helicopter. Now you can also run a fly barred blade on your fly barless helicopters as well. I choose to run a fly barred blade on my Nitro fly barless helicopters to help improve agility and response. And on my big high powered electric machines, I like to run a traditional fly barless blade to help improve stability. So three things to try to remember. First, Yes, you can use a fly barred blade on a fly barless helicopter, or you can use a fly barred blade on a fly barless helicopter. Second, a fly barless blade is going to be a lot more stable than a fly barred blade. And third, a fly barred blade is going to be a lot more nimble and agile than a fly barless blade. So next time you're looking to purchase some new rotor blades, we hope this video might be useful in making your decision. So if you have any more questions about the video shown today, please give us a call, chat, or email, and we'd be happy to answer your questions. AmainHobbies.com. Visit us for our huge selection. Buy from us for our expert customer service, fast shipping, and low prices. AmainHobbies.com, your one-stop international RC superstore.